I've got an idea for a song. I have my camera next to my bed, and it's kind of like, uh, it doesn't ever, it's like two in the morning. <coughs> it's super funky, and it starts off with like a clavichord, and uh, it just goes, um, um, bum bum ba da 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 ba ba da ba da 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 but I'm do 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 in the breaks between where it da 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 when it's holding that note the end of that uh, couplet um there's gonna be like little runs you know you know going on to the top matched up with toms and snares um like a gospel song and then that builds up and builds up like a tipper song real simple like until um, the drop, which is kind of like um, Tipper's style, where there's a sub bass um, and then just kind of a distorted uh, bass synthesizer line, but it's it's reminiscent of the clavichord from the first part, so it's called that repeats, adding on flourishes until you have kind of a um, Like an 808 um, style hi hat and, and um, cymbal accompaniment, so but but all everything happens on the same beat. There's no counterpoint. It's all unison. Um, boom. I hope I hope this makes sense in the morning. <laughs> that was a clip from. Um, early in the morning, this morning at like 2 a.m., I woke up with this idea in my head, um, and I just happened to have the camera next to my bed. I didn't plan that. Um, I'd been out at a gig taking some photos, and uh, I got home and just left the camera next to my bed. Um, so I, I rolled over, realized I had the camera, and turned on my little alarm clock light, and I said, you know what, I'll, I'll see if I can get this idea out. Normally, I would just roll over and go back to sleep. I get, all, I get ideas all the time, even when I'm sleeping. I've been thinking about what to do with the show next for a while. Um, and I received a couple of different messages from people that were saying that I need to do something with more bass um, and something with more of my funk. Funk is definitely the genre that speaks to me the most. It pulls the most creative power out of me. Um, I, I just, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think it's a bass player thing. But, you know, it's, it, it just, it gets me. And I don't mean like Grizz, all right? Like Grizz, he's funky because he's got a saxophone or because some of his songs are swung. I mean like funk, son. Like George Clinton, like James Brown, like friggin' Bootsy Collins. I'm talking the funk, you know? Where it's not a specific style, it's a feeling, man. It's the funk. So, so yeah, I've got that in me. Right, and I I want to fuse that with electronic dance music. Um, so for the for the next for the next however long it takes, uh, this show is going to be about creating a new genre of music. I don't know what to call it. So today's episode is going to be really short. I'm going to try to decode this because I remember it being a really good idea. Um, so I'm going to go through this video a couple more times. And so today's video is going to be really short. Today's vlog. Um, and what I want you to do, instead of uh, just going and clicking another video, I'm going to start the end credits right now. Click here, click right here to listen to this new song that I tried to reinterpret from my dreams last night. Um, I'm not sure what to call it. And on that video, leave me a comment telling me what you think this genre should be called. But as always, my name's Garden Sound. Um, check this out. See you tomorrow.